The CAT box blade with CAT AccuGrade grade control components is a grading and leveling machine that utilizes a CAT skid steer loader, a D-series all the way back to a legacy A-series, as well as a compact wheel loader to grade and level commercial properties, residential areas, or driveways, you name it. This tool is easily maintained and set up for an operator to efficiently level an area, also do it productively and automatically depending on the technology suite that you choose. The two mirrors out front can be adjusted in both their position and their height to give an operator clear visibility down to the front cutting edge. You can also see the rear cutting edge on this box blade from the front of the machine or through the window of the machine. There's two grease zerks up here that are easily accessed to, in order to grease the caster that allow these support wheels to fully rotate 360 degrees. That gives you a stable platform for that blade to oscillate and to provide that grade that you're hoping to achieve. Now as we move back throughout the tool, you've got side cutters here on the bottom of these wings. These, these wings here are bolt-on replaceable and the side cutters themselves can be flipped or bolted on and reversed after an additional wear surface or an additional wear life. The bolt-on cutting edges are also reversible and they feature wear mark indicators. So as an operator understands as he wears throughout that blade, he needs to get to a point to flip it to ensure the optimal accuracy and not to wear into the frame of the tool. You find that on both the front edge and the back edge of the rolled mold board that allows material to roll and fold and find those low spots or cut into an area that you're troping to grade. As we move back on the tool, you've got integrated serrated steps here that allow you to get up on the blade section and easily and safely adjust, in this case, two laser receivers. You can also adjust GPS receivers or install GPS receivers using these mass mounts or a UTS receiver depending on the technology suite that you have chosen. Now, you have additional gr uh, grease joints also in these rigid links that provide rigid support structure to the far reaches of the blade. You have two both on the front end and on the rear end. And then you also have grease zerks here to support the main blade frame. These grease zerks are a daily maintenance check and I encourage you to do so before entering the machine and performing your machine walk around, which you can find on our YouTube channel for proper maintenance practices. Utilizing three points of contact, I can safely enter the machine, slowly turn around and enter the cab. Closing the door behind me, I'm now in the cab of the machine and can put my seatbelt on. Once I have my seatbelt on, I lower the arm bars across my chest here and my waist, and I can then uh, prepare to start the machine. In order to alert others around me, I will sound the horn a single time and simply key on the machine. Allow the fuel pump to prime, start the engine, and now the machine is ready to operate. The cat box blade utilizes a proportional hydraulic valve that is integrated into the cab controls. So with my joysticks here, I can control independently the left and the right hand side of the blade. In order to provide flow and oil to that tool and continuously, I'll utilize continuous flow which is actuated with the fourth toggle switch back on the right toggle switch panel. Simply press and release on the advanced machine display. You then have a hydraulic symbol with arrows circling it, flashing at you at the operator. In order to engage hydraulic flow, I'll simply release the parking brake of the machine. Utilizing the right roller switch, I will roll it forward for a two second hold. And once the advanced machine display symbol that it was flashing glows solid, I have activated continuous flow and I can remove my hand from the controls. This allows me to have free reign over the other buttons that are on the joysticks, in which case I can raise and lower the right hand side of the blade and the left hand side of the blade. You can also do that simultaneously by utilizing both buttons up or both buttons down. Now these buttons that I'm using are the top right hand button for the right hand side of the blade going up and the bottom right hand button for the right side of the blade going down. The same is true for the inside buttons on the left hand joystick, both up and down. Simultaneously brings the blade up equally and lowering both 
sides of the blade is done with the lower buttons. And now I'm ready to operate the tool. This tool can be controlled either automatically or manually as I have described. In automatic, you simply pull the left hand joystick trigger to enter into automatic mode. This will automatically control the position of the blade to achieve the targeted grade. In this case, the setup is dual laser, so I have a transmitter on the other side of the field that is creating a plane in space. The receivers then communicate with that transmitter and tell the blade where it needs to go or move in order to achieve the material spread to the grade target. Now, in order to make sure that the functionality of this tool is proper, we need to also check the left-hand panel, toggle switch panel on the upper left-hand side of the machine and ensure that auxiliary eight and auxiliary seven toggle switches are in the down position. Once I have done that, I can then operate the tool in manual mode to work down this pile as I maintain this gravel road, simply utilizing the wings to grab material and spread it out. Once I get it into a manageable state, I can then go into automatic mode and allow the AccuGrade components to achieve the accuracy, allowing me to concentrate on driving the machine. Both directions with the AccuGrade box blade allows you to grade, so I can travel the machine both forward and in reverse. Utilizing the mirrors when operating in forward to ensure that all of the gravel has exited or fallen off the blade. That ensures that I'm getting maximum amount of material spread for every pass. And then I can easily visualize the back of the blade or see the back of the blade through the cab front window. As I get the material down into a manageable level, I then can enter the machine or the box blade into automatic control utilizing the left hand joystick trigger. And the blade will automatically follow the targeted grade that I've selected. In this case, a flat and level pad. A common best practice is to set the grade target above the actual target by a tenth of a foot or a couple inches and then on your final passes decrement down to achieve compact grade as well as a great finished product. When in automatic mode the joystick buttons that used to control the left and right hand side of the blades then become your increment and decrement. So you can increment or change the target of your grade for both sides of the blade. So you can change the left hand side target as well as the right hand side target using those same joystick buttons. Once I've gotten the material down into a compact level and I've gotten the material spread evenly, again to a quarter of an inch accuracy, I can then slowly shut down the machine back it into low engine idle and cancel continuous flow. When I cancel continuous flow, I want to ensure that I do so at low engine idle to control the impulse of oil that's sent to the hydraulic valve to ensure that it has a long working life. I do the same thing when I start the tool. I want to make sure that I start the continuous flow in low engine idle. I look forward to talking to you more about the box blade and I hope to catch you next time.